We have town A and town B. Both towns don't have any water, but there's a river close by. So John from town A decides that he's going to be the one to bring water into his town. So he grabs a few buckets and starts bringing all the water he can and begins selling it to the people in town, which are desperate for water so they're willing to pay a good price. John starts spending all of his waking hours bringing water into town and selling it. So he starts making money. In town B, Steve is determined that he's going to be the one to bring water to his town. So he spends the next six months creating a funnel that can bring the water from the river directly to his house. He doesn't get paid for this, but after he's done, he starts selling the water to the people in town for a good price. But there's a twist in the story. John from town A gets sick, so he can no longer bring water into the town. And since his income is dependent on his labor, he loses his income. Steve, on the other hand, he also gets sick. But since he already built the funnel to bring the water from the river to his house, he just hires someone to sell the water for him. And he still makes money whether he's physically there or not. See, the difference between John and Steve is that John works to get paid. His income depends on his labor while Steve decides to work for a period of time, in this example six months, without getting paid, he creates a system that will generate income. The main idea is that the rich don't work for money. That is one of the reasons why the rich get richer. Let's look at the same example. Once Steve is done with his first funnel, he can go to town A and build another one and even run John out of business. And then he can go to town C and do it again, and then town D and E and on and on and on. And he will be generating income from all of these funnels. This is actually called an asset, which I explain in more detail in my other Rich Dad Poor Dad video. So while John has to work every single day to earn his paycheck, Steve earns his, even if he is not physically there. So again, when most people work for money, the rich build systems to generate money for them. Robert Kiyosaki explains that our financial lives are run by two emotions, fear and desire. The fear of not having money and not able to pay our bills makes us go find a job, which is perfectly normal and it happens to most of us. So then we get a job and start making money, then desire kicks in. And we start thinking about all the cool things that we can buy. We start thinking about those new Jordans that just came out. We start thinking about that car that we always wanted. And then we spend all of our money. So the fear of not having money kicks in again. And then a pattern is created. We work, we get money, we spend it. And then we're back to square one every month. This is what is called the rat race. Dominating these emotions can help us achieve more lasting wealth. For example, dominating fear can help us work without having to get paid to be able to create an asset. And dominating desire can help us avoid spending money on things that we don't need. So pay attention how fear and desire play a role in your financial situation and avoid the rat race. Lastly. If you read the book, you know that Robert Kiyosaki did not listen to his real dad when it came to money. He learned from his friend's dad who knew more about being rich, which he then called Rich Dad. I cannot emphasize enough the power of mentors. So go out there and find yourself a mentor that know what he or she is doing. Okay, let's review the ideas again. First, the rich don't work for money. Second, don't let fear and desire run your financial life. And third, find yourself some mentors. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video and got something valuable from it. Let me know in the comments below what are some of the things that you're doing to improve this area of your life. And if you have a friend that would like to watch this, share it with them and subscribe for more great ideas.